welcome to the kitchen. Today I've got a fudging delicious recipe for you. I'm making some Easter fudge, it's really easy. So all you need is melted chocolate, and I've got some condensed milk, which I've just warmed to about the same temperature. And I'm just gonna literally combine it. I mean, this is just so fast. In it goes. So the most important thing about this is not to over mix it. So just literally fold it through, and it still looks like two parts now, but what you'll see is it will suddenly begin to seize. And as soon as it kind of seems to sort of seize up, that's when you stop. There, so now it's sort of like come together into one gloopy piece. I've got an eight inch square tin which I've lined and I'm just pouring that in. So it's in there, I'm just gonna smooth it a little bit. Let's make sure it's pretty level, there we go. Now it's time to press in some Easter chocolates. You can use any you like. I'm gonna start off with my big one so I can strategically place my bunnies in. You can get all sorts of Easter egg chocolates. You can really customize this to make it your own styly. I found these tiny mini eggs in the supermarket so it's quite nice to fill in small gaps. I think less is more. There it is. So all you need to do now is admire your creation and then pop it in the fridge to chill it. So it'll take at least an hour, but you can do it overnight if you want to. When it's all set, you can literally just plunge it in some warm water for a few seconds, lift it out and cut it up. So I've made one earlier. Here's my fudge. Time to cut it up. So you just need a sharp knife and I think small pieces are fine because it's very, very rich. So just be careful when you're doing this. Also, it helps if you cut it straight. How lovely, you get that lovely kind of cross section. To little squares. Look at that. So there you have it. Simple Easter fudge. Gotta have a taste, haven't I? Mmm. As I said, I hope you make some. Do share pictures of yours if you do. Make sure you tag me on Instagram at GDXC. Everything you need to make this is just down there. And if you like the video, please subscribe, share, and I'll be back soon for even more food videos. See you later. Bye.